There is a reason that whilst watching this video, you will make no progress whatsoever. That you will stay in the same position. Hopefully, that's not the case for you. But there is a huge, huge reason why. And that is your ego. Your big, fat ego. It's ego because you think you're too good to learn the real reason, the real way to build your discipline. And I guarantee you, when I tell you the real way to improve and build your discipline, that you will think that the tasks are simply just beneath you. I guarantee you this. And if you have this way of thinking, you will not make any progress. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. The real way to become disciplined isn't like David Goggins, right? It's not the big fucking massive run because he is way more experienced than this and he is years down the line on self-improvement. You are probably not as experienced as David Goggins, so you're probably gonna need to start right at the beginning. The real way to improve your discipline isn't the big fucking run, it's not the giant workout, it's finding the easy, good habits that you are consistently not doing, and to start doing them. I know, I know that sounds incredibly fucking boring, but improving your discipline isn't this giant, massive workout. Discipline is doing the things that you specifically did not feel like doing. So, if you're going to the gym five days a week, most days you're looking forward to it, you're not actually using discipline. You're motivated to go to the gym. Those days where you wake up in the morning and you think, oh, I don't want to go to the gym today, but I went anyway, those days are when you've used discipline. So, what are the easy good habits that you consistently aren't doing, or shall I say, specifically don't feel like doing. Ironing your clothes, cleaning up your clothes, cleaning your room. Maybe your room is filled with empty bottles, your bin is overflowing, your room is just covered with garbage and rubbish. When you get up in the morning to get out of bed, you move your clothes from your chair back onto your unmade bed just to sit in that chair and game for the rest of the day. And then when you've been gaming all day and it's time to go to sleep, it's like two in the morning, you move your clothes from your messy, unmade bed back onto your chair. Fuck me, holy shit. Wait, just on a side note, look how fucking stormy this is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> The weather has just turned to shit. You know that cringy piece of advice that your parents, your mum and dad told you? Oh. The, to changing the world. You gotta first start by making your bed. Making your bed in the morning. The military does this to build discipline. But why is this? Because this is real discipline. Making your bed when you specifically did not want to. These Thousands of little tiny acts, not hundreds, thousands of tiny acts that help improve your discipline. These thousand tiny little acts that people overlook and ignore because they don't want to do it. Because of their big ego. These tasks, these tiny tasks are not worth their time. And they've gotten the used to a system. Maybe your room is in an absolute mess, but you know where everything is. So it's okay, it doesn't matter. You know that your A-level textbooks are underneath that pile of clothes. You know that on top of that pile of clothes, you just need to pick up the first shirt because it's the same shirt you've wore every day, but who gives a shit? Not considering that it's just simply poor hygiene. If you go on this far in the video, you're probably thinking, what the fuck is this guy on about? These tasks aren't what help you improve your discipline. What's he going on about? But the truth is, that's your big, fat ego talking. And I guarantee this because your ego is most likely bigger than the task at hand. That you don't want to do it. Well, guess what? That's discipline. Discipline is doing things that you specifically did not want to do. 
And the best place to start is the small good habits that you consistently aren't doing. Because you are not David Goggins, someone who's super experienced down the line. If you feel like you're not making any progress, that is your big fat ego that's stopping you from making any progress. You need to literally get rid of your ego. You need to start from literally the beginning, almost having like a beginner's mindset to building discipline. If you're watching this, deep down you know this. Deep down you know you're not David Goggins. You haven't been on self-improvement for years and you've not been making any progress. Deep down, if you're this far in the video, you know this. And if you want to really help with this, you need to challenge your brain. Because chances are right now, your brain can't be trusted. Our brains are so self-destructive at times. Because put it like this, your brain has convinced you to watch porn over hundreds of times when you know porn is bad for you. Those moments where it's late at night and your parents are out, you're scrolling through TikTok and then you see that, I don't know, some sort of TikTok model that's over-sexualized your own body. And then suddenly you get the urge. You tell yourself, wait, no, no, I know porn is bad and I want to stop anyway, so I'm not going to. You keep scrolling through TikTok, ah, another one. Ah, uh, another, another pair of tits or something on that. Oh, more, more. No, don't give in. And suddenly, you're back on the hub. Your brain convinced you to go on porn. So when your brain is telling you right now that, oh, these tasks are tiny. They, I mean, the real way to improve discipline? <laughs> Cleaning your room? Doing these small little tasks? No. That's, that's not how to do it. I don't need to do that. You probably should not trust your brain so quickly. You need to challenge your mind. If you start doing this, you'll notice that it starts to be implemented in every aspect in your life. You'll be surprised on how helpful it is when you actually start to build discipline. Oh, I'm going to the gym. I'm about to get into a really good workout. I'm motivated to do a workout, but I... I can't really be bothered to stretch before my workout. Oh, I, I should probably, I should probably fucking work out. I'd stretch after the workout, stretch before the workout, but you know, I can't really be bothered to. I don't really want to. I just kind of want to get into the workout. But you've been practicing real discipline. So you do the stretch before the workout and after the workout. Even though you didn't want to, you do it. And you feel fucking good about it. This is how you build discipline. And not only that, by stretching before a workout and after a workout, prevents injuries and also has been proven to boost your testosterone. So, it's a nice little bonus. This is how you build discipline. Hopefully this has helped you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. Mwah. Ah. Fuck me, it's raining so much. Holy shit. Not oh, my camera's wet.